my little loves. This is Mrs. Schnabel here. Today I want to read you a story. This is actually one of my favorites. It's called The Bernstein Bears Forget Their Manners. It's sometimes easy to forget to be kind. We can sometimes be demanding if we want something and we forget about others' feelings. I like this book because it reminds us that manners go a long way and we need to treat others the way we want to be treated. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and read this book, The Bernstein Bears Forget Their Manners. You might see Daddy run by. She's kind of playful right now. So if she comes by, just don't mind her. There was trouble in the big tree house down a sunny dirt road deep in bear country. Trouble with manners. The bear family's trouble with manners was that they forgot them. At first, it was just an occasional please or thank you that was forgotten. Then, it was a rude push without an excuse me. Then a reach across the table instead of a Please pass the broccoli. Oh boy. Mom the bear wasn't quite sure how or why it had happened, but she was sure of one thing. Whatever the reason, the bear family had become a pushing, shoving, name calling, ill mannered mess. At the table, it was even worse. They were a grabbing, mouth stuffing, food fighting, kicking under the table, super mess. Of course, Mama Bear tried to correct brother and sister's behavior. She tried coaxing. She tried complaining. She tried shouting. She tried going to Papa for help though it sometimes seemed to Mama that he was part of the problem too. Papa banged down the table and shouted as only he could shout, but nothing seemed to do any good. Mama didn't like what was happening to her family, not one bit. Something had to be done, but what? The best way to fight bad habits, she thought, was with good habits. Then she thought of a plan. She got a big piece of cardboard and a marker. And at the top, she wrote, The Bear Family Politeness Plan. When the plan was finished, she called a family meeting and showed it to Papa and the Cubs. It certainly got the Bear family's attention. I'll show you the list and then I'll go ahead and read it. So forgetting to say please and thank you, you have to sweep the front steps. Pushing or shoving, you have to beat two rugs. That means like clean two rugs by just hitting them over and over. Interrupting, you have to dust downstairs. If you call names, you have to clean the cellar, that's the basement. If you reach at the table, you have to clean the yard. If you play with your food, you wash the dishes. If you make rude noises, you have to clean, or I'm sorry, weed the garden. If you bang on the door, you clean the attic. If you forget to say, excuse me, you empty the garbage. And then if you hog the bathroom, you put out the trash. Mama's plan had a list of all the rude things she wanted to stop. Besides, each one was a penalty, a job, or chore that went with it. If you forgot a please or a thank you, you had to sweep the front steps. If you pushed or shoved, you had to beat two rugs. If you got caught name calling, you had to clean the whole cellar. But Mama, 
sputtered the cubs. You're not being fair. It seems to me, she said, that you're the ones who aren't being fair to yourselves or anyone else. That's what manners are all about, being fair and considerate. Manners are important. They help us get along with each other. Why, without manners? Your mama's absolutely right, interrupted Papa. Thank you, Papa, for your comment. But interrupting is number three on the rude list. And the penalty is dusting the downstairs, Mama said, and handed him the feather duster. said brother. This looks serious. I think we better come up with a plan of our own or we're going to be doing a lot of extra chores. What sort of plan? asked sister. Well, he said, instead of just being polite, we'll be super polite. We'll please and thank you so much that mama will get fed up and call the whole thing off. <gasps> yes! said sister, we'll be so polite, she won't be able to stand it. Hmm. I wonder how this is gonna go. They put their plan into action. They were super polite on the stairs. After you, sister dear. Thank you, dear brother. In the hall. Excuse me, brother dear. Why, certainly, my dear sister, waiting for the bathroom. Terribly sorry to keep you waiting. Think nothing of it, my dear. But it didn't work the way they expected. Mama didn't get fed up at all. And after a while, brother and sister forgot all about being super polite, and they were just polite. At the table, pass the honey, please. Certainly. In their room, would you like me to help you pick up your toys? Thank you very much. And in the yard. Oops, sorry, I didn't mean to bump you. That's all right, no harm done. And it turned out that Mama had been right. Things did go more smoothly. Once they got into the good manners habit, they didn't even have to think about it. But it wasn't so easy for Papa. He was the one that got fed up. It's a little harder to change habits when you're older. And he had to do quite a few extra chores for forgetting his manners. I'm glad to get out of the house away from that politeness plan, he said as he drove the family along the highway on a trip to the supermarket. Manners and courtesy are just as important away from home, especially on the road, said Mama as they stopped at a stop sign to let pedestrians and other cars pass by. They help us drive safely. Now, if you didn't know, pedestrians is just another name of people walking across. The walkers are pedestrians. Well, grumbled Papa as they all went into the busy supermarket. I think you can have too much of a good thing. You got to have some common sense along with manners. Why, if you let everyone go ahead of you at the checkout, you'd be there forever. And sometimes you have to interrupt. Excuse me, madam, he interrupted a shopper, but I believe you have a leaking bottle in your cart. The shopper thanked him for his help. Hmm, he does have some good points. Let's see what mama says. You see? He said, driving home, there's more to life than remembering your manners. Besides, banners are all right for cubs and mama bears. Boink. Oh, not a word. 
but we papa bears have other things to think about. At that moment, the car in front of him suddenly stopped and Papa bumped into it. He was furious. Why that fiddle brain? He snarled. Name calling, reminded sister. So it wasn't mama that said anything. I think that brother bear and sister bear are seeing the value of this. Interesting. I didn't expect that to happen. The penalty for name calling was cleaning the whole cellar. So Papa gritted his teeth and remembered his manners. And a good thing, too, because climbing out of the car was the biggest, angriest bear he had ever seen. But when the angry bear saw how polite Papa was, he remembered his manners, too. He explained that he had stopped short because a mama duck and her ducklings had crossed in front of him. Then he and Papa Bear looked at the bumpers and saw that no harm had been done. As I was saying, said Papa as they continued on their way, it is very important for us to remember our manners at all times. And I want to thank you, sister, for reminding me to remember mine. You're very welcome, I'm sure, said Sister Bear politely. I really like this book because it really reminds us that we all need to treat each other right. We're going through a time where we're all at home for the most part. And when we're around people a lot, sometimes we can say things that aren't kind or do things that aren't very thoughtful, but it's important that we treat each other with respect and love as we're at home. Make sure that when your parents do something for you or help you out, you say thank you. You're kind to your brother, sister, aunt, uncle, grandparents, whoever you're with, because manners are really important. Remember, we want to treat others the way we want to be treated. And if we use our manners, that'll be helpful. All right. I will see you next time, guys. Love you all. Bye.